the 3rd of May 1791, the Polish Parliament uh, gave Poland, that is the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, uh, a new form of government and outlined the principles on which society uh, would be based uh, in a way uh, that corrected uh, some of the established faults uh, of the system of government and created a constitution which was worthy of the challenges that would face the country in the 19th century had it not been partitioned by its neighbours. For most of the 18th century, uh, British opinion formers had been used to make jokes about Poles, that uh, Poland was a country of anarchy and fanaticism uh, and backwardness. The Constitution changed all that. Uh, for radicals, this was a major reform which might have gone further for their taste, but nevertheless took Poland in the direction of modernity. Uh, whereas for conservatives, they contrasted the evolutionary and gradual nature of change in Poland uh, with the violent uh, revolution uh, in France. Uh, from either side, whether it was Edmund Burke or Thomas Paine, uh, what was generally called the Polish Revolution uh, was extremely praiseworthy. And it caused something of a sensation at the time. The Constitution was rapidly translated into English, uh, and Polish news was at the, on the front pages of the London Gazettes for a couple of months after the passing of the Constitution on 3rd of May. This year, we're marking the 100 years since Poland regained its independence. Now, unlike some other countries in Europe, Poland was not a completely new state, a new country or a new nation in 1918. Uh, Poland saw the restoration uh, of a republic uh, which had been erased from the map through the violence of its neighbours at the end of the 18th century. Now, had it not been for the work of the great parliament, especially the constitution of the 3rd of May, old Poland might well have gone down in history as a backward, anarchic, fanatical and superstitious place. That wouldn't have been a just verdict, but it's easy to imagine how that could have been the case. There were plenty later who were interested in spreading such stereotypes uh, about the Poles and Poland. But the constitution of the 3rd of May showed the tremendous vitality and potential uh, of the old Commonwealth. It showed that it was capable of reforming itself and developing in a way that was appropriate for the 19th century. It included such principles of modern constitutionalism, such as the threefold division of powers into the legislative, executive and judicial powers. Uh, it included guarantees of personal freedom, uh, which would have been extended by degrees to all inhabitants of the Commonwealth. Every inhabitant of the Commonwealth was included in the idea of the Polish nation. And it did so as a basis of evolutionary change rather than revolutionary change, despite the fact that contemporaries referred to the word revolution. So these are the ways in which uh, the world's opinion of Poland and the Poles, as well as Poles' own opinions of themselves and their country, depend greatly uh, on that tremendous step forward that was taken in 1791.